Hello and welcome. This is Rochelle and welcome back to the DIY Affiliates and Collectives Soul Journey. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the label of the False Twin Flame. How could you think or how do you know whether you are involved with a false twin or a true twin flame? There is a possibility that you could be involved with something called a karmic. For a karmic is the label the false twin flame. What is a false twin flame? And I'm going to put this in kind of brackets. Karmic. It is the karmic soulmate. And it is a karmic soulmate contract that you have agreed to before you came to this earth. We make agreements which are called soul contracts with other souls to help us work through our karma, to help us get off the karmic wheel, to help us to be able to grow in consciousness and spirituality, to learn to love ourselves, to learn to have unconditional love. There are many other lessons that we can create a soul contract for, but this one in particular, I am talking about a romantic relationship either with a soulmate, a true twin flame, or a karmic, which I'm labeling as a false twin flame. All of these soulmates can help us to be able to work through the karma that we have accumulated from this lifetime. It could be from past lifetimes or lifetimes before that. If you resonate with this term, twin flame, and also understand what a soul contract is, then this video is for you. For the people who have just come to my channel and are seeing this content for the very first time, if you resonate with this content and the message that I am putting out, then please subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell so you will be notified of all new content that I am posting and I'm very interested to know if you are in a twin flame relationship and what stage you are at or if you have just gone through an awakening. If you are looking for information just about awakening, if you're, you're very new and you started asking yourself these very uh, observational questions like who am I, why am I here, what is my purpose, uh, there is a video that I created just for you which will show you the six steps of the, or the six stages that a person would normally go through uh, when you go through the awakening process along with a little bit of information about Dolores Cannon and her audiobook, The Three Waves of Volunteers in the New World. And also, I'm going to be, also I use the tarot cards uh, to, to show you and symbolize the different energies that you are in when you are in these stages. Let's jump into the video. So you are in a relationship, and you feel that that person is your twin flame. You've done some research, you've listened to some readings, and you've also come to the conclusion that this person is most likely your twin flame. But there's to be some things that are off, some things that you sense that don't help you, that don't help you to be able to grow. You don't feel the unconditional love. And you may be giving the unconditional love, but you're not feeling the unconditional love back. Giving unconditional love, uncondi so first of all, what's, uh, what's the most important thing right now in life is love. And learning what unconditional love is will help you to understand that this is very important in your life. So what is unconditional love? Unconditional love is, is giving your love without any conditions. It's being able to say, I love you, this is your life, this is your journey, but I will still love you no matter what you do, no matter what choice you make, whatever you choose in your life, I will still love you. This is hard to do, but this is unconditional love is not trying to put your will on somebody else or somebody else putting their will on you. Or if I get mad and I decide I want to take my love away from you, that is conditional love, not unconditional love. And when we get into really what is a false twin flame, it, is this just a label? So what's happening in your life right now? Have you gone through an, uh, the awareness? Have you gone through the different stages of awareness? Or do you feel like you're just being triggered to wake up? And the person who's triggering you to wake up, you believe is your twin flame. And it's also going to depend on the level of consciousness that you are, that you are in. Are you still in the 3D consciousness, which is kind of lower vibrational and dense, dense energy? Or have you started to go more into the inner reality of 4D and understanding where you are a very powerful person, a powerful manifester? 
or you may be stepping into your power right now, which is the inner reality of the fourth dimension. But this person that you're with, who you believe to be your twin flame, is not on the same page as you. They are not growing in awareness. They are not growing in consciousness. And they are not growing in spirituality. And this is just one example of what could possibly be a false twin flame. Or you could say a karmic energy. From my understanding and my own experience and the knowledge that I have searched online for and that I've used my discernment to only give you the information that I feel is relevant and I feel is true and is something that can help you. Now you might be asking yourself, you use the word karmic, so what, what is karmic? Well, karmic is, there are three types of soul contracts. One is a soulmate, the other is a twin flame, and the other is a karmic soul, uh, soul contract. When you agree to a karmic soul contract, this is also an energy that will come into your life because everything breaks down to energy. So now what does this mean? Does it mean people are energy? Yes, people are energy too, and they're representing certain energies. And as an example, you have a soulmate energy. You have a twin flame energy, and you have a karmic energy. In order to truly understand what a, what a false twin flame is, you first have to understand what karmic energy is, and what is the difference between the soulmate, the twin flame, and the karmic energy. Karmic soulmate, who you have created a contract with, and you know before you come to this earth, is someone who comes into your life for a purpose. And this is something that you may never forget. Same way as when you meet your true t twin flame, you have an intense connection. You're, you become very passionate towards this person. You may think this is destiny, that you want to feel, you want to feel that this is, this is your person and you're going to be partners for life. But the difference is in the karmic soulmate contract is once that, car once that contract is fulfilled and the lessons are learned and you are healed, you lose interest, you lose attraction, you lose passion. Why? Because if you are part of a twin flame, your true twin flame is out there waiting for you. Now, I don't want to trigger, trigger anybody with this. If you feel you're, re you're resonating with anything and if you start to feel any kind of negative energy or negative vibrations, then take a breath. Get all of the information first. Do your own research. Use your own intu intuition. Listen to your heart. So the karmic energy is an energy, and I can sum this up all in one word. It's called drama. You may notice red flags. Either one or both of you are both codependent. There is very bad communications, but when you argue, you argue passionately, only to make up very passionately. You may even feel that you are addicted to this person. But it makes you feel weary, and you get exhausted. You're tired all the time because of this energy. You may feel an intense attraction at first, and knowing just like, hey, I recognize this person because you do recognize this person and they're there for a certain soul contract to help you to grow and to heal something to help you to get off the karma wheel or what I re refer to in the tarot deck as the wheel of fortune and here as you can see this is the wheel of fortune or some people might say the wheel of karma if you look at the card you will also notice that the devil is on the bottom of the wheel. But if you turn it upside down, the devil is on the top of the wheel. When you are in a karmic relationship or a false twin relationship with the Wheel of Fortune, most likely the devil will be on the top of the wheel. And I'm going to read you these terms. Wheel of Fortune. Good luck, destiny, change, soulmates, divisive moments, cycles of life fate, fortune, chance. But when you turn the card over, you see bad luck, upheaval, disorder, external forces, lack of control, disruption, unwelcome changes, delays and setbacks. Pretty much 
describes the wheel of karma or the wheel of fortune. Talk about first as the false twin flame and then do a contrast to the actual soul soulmate or twin flame, true twin flame. So here's where a lot of people get the true twin flame and the karmic false twin flame mixed up. You feel uncertain about this person. You feel uncertain about your relationship. There are doubts. You will have this nagging feeling of doubt. You won't be sure whether this is going to be a relationship or if this relationship is going to last or is this person really your person. This feeling might last the entire relationship and really never goes away. But a false twin awaken you. False twin flames are often sent to awaken us. In fact, it's if it's if you are having a spiritual awakening and it's and it's just beginning, there could be a good possibility that you are with a false twin flame. The false tw twin relationship will appear to be the actual true twin relationship. There will still be very deep passion, intensity, and a deep energetic emotional bond. So the false twin has a lot of the same characteristics as the true twin flame. And don't let this trigger you. If you are resonating with anything that I'm saying when I'm talking about the signs and the contrast, remember that you alone know. You can use your intuition and your heart to determine for you what is right. Nobody can tell you, <laughs> and certainly not me, whether you are with your true flame or not. So basically the false twin flame may just come around to help to awaken you and also this will create space and help you to grow in a spiritual or other ways in order to prepare you for your true twin flame. Now I'm not sure if this is true or not, but a lot of people do believe this, that that is the purpose of a false twin flame. Number one sign that you may be in a, twin, a, a false twin relationship is they struggle and refuse to commit to you. A relationship with a false twin flame, in a matter of speaking, and in the majority of cases, there will be a lack of commitment. They don't share your vision of the future. It's not to say that they are, are not your true twin flame, but it is one of the signs to, to look for. Another sign to look for is you keep doubting them. And honestly, would you be here listening to this video if you didn't have doubts as to whether you were with your true twin flame or you were with a false twin flame. So the information that I'm giving to you is partly from my own experience, but it's also from doing a lot of research. And in a majority of the cases that I have read about, one of the biggest signs is, is that you find yourself doubting them. You find yourself doubting. If you don't know what a, a twin flame is or a soulmate is, you find yourself doubting, is this my partner? Is this my person? And this really is a bad sign because when you start to doubt, that means that you are not either listening to your intuition or your intuition is telling you something. So it could be either or. These are signs that I've experienced myself and also all of the research that I've done. There's actually more signs that you're not with your true flame, but I have only put the most interesting and dominant ones that you can notice right away. They're not giving you the same energy that you are giving them. A false twin flame will, want, will not want to make a commitment, will do everything in their power to avoid a commitment, such as I'm not ready, this is not the right timing, I don't know if you are the right person, and I just want to figure my life out. So twin flame will not give you a commitment. A real twin flame will make a commitment to you, will want to spend time with you, will do everything in their power to try to help you not only to heal, but to grow spiritually. 
and will not give you excuses. And the energy you feel will be the exact same energy that you are putting out to your true twin flame. And this will be unconditional love. So number two, your false twin flame will only give you conditional love. You will only feel this conditional love with a false twin flame. So, first of all, what is unconditional love and why is it important? Love is one of the most important emotions that we have as human beings and as newly awakening souls. Conditional love means no conditions. You are not trying to put your will onto anybody else. You are not trying to control the way that somebody is thinking. You are accepting the soul, the person, the way that they are. You are not trying to change them in any way. You accept their decisions and, and that you accept that they are going on a unique journey and at times you may not be a part of this journey. The soul contract will become evident and you will begin your own soul journey together. Number two, a false twin flame does not have the same heart as you and does not desire to be loved by you. It may seem like they're mirroring you in the beginning just like a true twin flame does. They may even be a reflection of the energy and the love that you are putting out. They may reflect your love back to you, but it is not real. It is not consistent. It is not reliable. And this is something that you will not see with your eyes. You will only feel with your intuition and your heart. Your true flame will love you unconditionally and only want the best for you. And sometimes it is not them because they have not healed on the same timeline as you. Your true twin flame will have the same essence as you, will also have the same energy as you, will be on the same page, will be in it together. So this is something that you will feel with your intuition and using your heart chakra. A false twin flame will not be going on the twin flame journey with you. The more you start to understand what a twin flame is and start to do the inner work and you start to do this on an unconscious level, but energetically what you are doing is you are actually choosing your true twin flame because your true twin flame is a mirror of you. When you start to awaken and you start to do the work, your true twin flame will also start to awaken and start to do that work on their own timeline. The more intense and the more interwork that you do, your, the false twin flame will be further and further away from you. You may feel at first that you're going very deep and very fast with this person and you may feel that this is your person and as you start to do the inner work, you will start to notice that you are not on the same journey. A false twin flame does not want to go on a twin flame journey with you and will do everything in their power to confuse you and not help you to grow spiritually. And they do not help you to raise your level of awareness to exist in the inner reality of the 4D in preparation of the 5D, which is a new Earth's energy and vibration that we are heading towards. A real twin flame will go on this journey with you, will help you to grow and heal, will work with you, not confuse you, will understand you, will start to understand the sacred contract and also the sacred twin, uh, twin flame journey. Deep down, you will understand this and they will understand this. And even if it appears that they don't understand it at the time, they will understand it if they are your true twin flame. This twin flame, this is four, a false twin a false twin flame will have the same characteristics as a tw true twin flame but you will not see this you will not see the same synchronicities in number sequences and other signs and symbols you may try you may try to force yourself to always see these synchronicities because you really want this person to be your twin your true twin flame but it doesn't happen and it doesn't come naturally With a true twin flame, you will not have to force yourself to see these synchronicities because these numbers will be popping up all over the place. You may even see the person's name. You may see something that reminds you about the person. And this will be in a natural way, not in a forced way. 
with a false twin flame, there is no soul journey. One of the main purposes of a false twin or a karmic energy is to come into this world and by agreement, and this is an agreement with a, an agreement with your soul and this soul, that they are coming to help you to heal karma, for you to be able to release karma, either from this lifetime or a past lifetime, but once the karma is healed, they will not continue on with you on the Twin Flames journey. You will then be on your journey alone, and you will be looking or attracting or magnetizing yourself by doing the inner work and going through the awakening stages to find your true twin flame. In the contrast, one of the main purposes of a twin flame journey, a true twin flame journey, eventually, after going through all the stages of awakening to the twin flame journey, they will start to recognize their soul contract, which is a sacred contract contract that that their soul made that their half of their soul made to your half of the soul they will start to recognize who you are in their life and who you are together as you work towards having one heart and one soul to help elevate the level of consciousness and help people to awaken and learn to have unlimited power and the capacity and understanding energy to live in the inner world of the fourth dimension. <clears throat> Six, this is not a divine relationship. The universe is not on your side. The universe will probably do everything in its power to try to separate you without interfering in your own free will so that you can be free to meet your own twin flame. You may have a contract with this false twin flame or karmic soul. The universe has not created the same design in your soul contract. There will probably be a lot of drama, arguments and fights. As you start to do the inner work, you start to awaken, the universe will f try to find ways to separate you. And the difference is, in the contrast of the, the true twin flame, is the universe will work with you. You will co-create with the universe to be with your true twin flame, who is also awakened. As you are awakening, your twin flame will be awakening. And as you will be going through most of the stages of the twin flames awakening process. Now, if you're not familiar with that, you can watch the video that I created in which explains to you about the twin flames journey, what it is, what the purpose is, and the different stages that you may go through. You can find it at the top right hand corner of this video. So have you heard about divine intervention? The universe will always support you for you to be with your true healed twin flame. Seven, you don't feel secure. The relationship doesn't seem safe. You may have doubts. You don't know where they're coming from, but it's coming from your intuition and it's coming from your heart. This is letting you know something is not right. You just have these doubts. You have doubts that this is not your person. And if you un are understanding about the twin flame journey, you're starting to have doubts that this is not your twin flame. Now don't get triggered by this. Just take a breath and realize that everything that you are doing, even if you are with a karmic partner or a false twin flame, all the healing that you are doing, your twin flame is also mirroring your healing, is also awakening at the same time that you, uh, you, when you awaken your part of your soul, this then resonates with your twin flame and they begin awakening. And this may be on separate timelines, but being with the false twin flame and the karmic partner will allow you to be able to heal and grow. Don't get triggered and don't get put off and thinking, oh, I'm not with my true flame and I thought this was my true flame, but it may not be, and that's okay. Because you are still awakening, you are still growing, and so is your true twin flame. 
when you are with your true twin flame, you will feel secure. You will feel safe. You will have no doubts. Your intuition will be telling you to just keep moving forward. You are seeing signs and synchronicities. When you're not looking for them, this is coming at very naturally. And your heart and your soul are starting to work together. And you're feeling the same energy that you are putting out, you are getting back. Number eight. You will get triggered by a false twin flame, and it will help to bring the traumas to the surface and also help you to heal. But as you are going through this healing process, the false a twin flame is not healing with you. The false twin flame is not in sync with you. You will be starting on your journey alone. In contrast, when you are triggered by a true twin flame, because twin flames mirror each other naturally, your twin flame will also start to heal. You are designed to be with your twin flame, and the universe knows this. And this will help you because the universe will help you because this is for the highest good. You are here for a purpose. Sacred soul contract that you made with this other part of the one enlightened soul that you two together can work. Your potential will be unlimited. You will become a, a, a master manifester. You will learn as one. And you will share in the twin flame journey together. A false twin flame will make you feel insecure about yourself. Will help you to trigger, trigger your unworthiness or your self-worthiness or your self-love. Will put you into third party situations will sometimes make you feel that you just have to give so much more in order for this person to truly love you. A healed true twin flame will make you feel secure that you are worthy, won't put you in third party situations, will not make you feel like you don't belong, and will love you unconditionally. Number 10. With a false twin flame, you can't reveal your true self. It's not that you can't reveal your true self. You are afraid to reveal your true self. You are afraid to reveal your unique self. You're afraid that they may mock you or talk about you behind your back. They might tell you, oh, this is okay. You can show me your true unique self, but then make a joke about it to their friends or family. A true twin flame will allow you to reveal your true self. You are unique. They will reveal their true self. They are unique. Will not talk about you behind your back and will not do anything that is deceptive or harmful to you. Number 11. A false twin flame will unfortunately always deceive you. Will always lie to you. Will take you for granted. Will not feel the energetic and telepathic energies that you would have with your true twin flame. You don't have that strong bond between you because this union is not meant to be. A true twin flame, which is a healed feminine and a healed masculine, will never deceive you, will never lie to you, will never take you for granted. And you will feel the energetic tele telepathic frequency in a space of your own in the 5D. This is meant to be a divine union. The two souls who have now come together, who have healed all of the past dramas and released the band of karma that was created, either in this lifetime or past lifetimes, and are moving on and moving up in their level of consciousness and spirituality and working together on a very shared and passionate mission to elevate and awaken the sleeping collective and help them to reach their highest potential and to become master manifestors. Remember, even if you are with a false twin flame and you still are going through the awakening to the twin flame journey and you are in the the stage of the the healing journey this is helping you to identify what you need to heal 
and then as soon as you're healed and you are growing in consciousness in spirituality it is still with the false twin flame that doesn't mean that you need to do it all over again when you meet your true twin flame because you and your twin flame awaken and heal as one even if it's on different timelines thank you for watching this video thank you for being a part of this journey with me I have just been going through the awakening stages it started with awakening to understanding about energy and the different energy that we have in our life and that there are laws that govern the energy that we create and then it evolved into understanding about the spirit guides and the um, the angels the spirit guides and the angels and even our own guardian angel that is around us all the time then it, it evolved into studying the tarot in which I learned about the different energies that each card represented and these energies are what is what is felt in these cards and it is read by an intuitive reader I am NOT a tarot card reader sure I can look at a picture and I can think of something but as an example this is the the ten of cups you could look at the picture and you could see well there's ten cups there there's two people there's you know they're really happy but anyways I just I digress then it involved evolved into understanding about the twin flame journey and that I had met different soulmates in my life but I have not yet met my actual twin flame and I am looking forward to it so I hope this video has been helpful to you in some way that I have been able to help you on your own journey I am very new to this but I can tell you that through my own experience and all of the research that I do when I compare different things to see and to to actually ask the divine like what is it that I'm supposed to say what is it that's going to help people to understand different things what is it that's not going to confuse people because it's very easy to get confused so thank you very much if you have been with me from the beginning of this soul journey that I am on and if you are on your own soul journey whether you are a twin flame or whether you feel that you are in union with your twin flame or whether you are in union with you feel maybe a false twin flame which is not a bad thing this is not bad this is not something where you need to just say well I'll just wash my hands of it you're not the real thing uh, so I need to go and find the real thing no no so leave me a comment and I would if you leave me a comment and tell me where you are in your journey so that we can connect and I'd like to start building a community of like-minded people or like-minded souls that are on or awakening to their either their twin flame journey or even understanding that they do have these soul contracts with people whether it would be family friends or relationships um, I heard you could even have a soul contract with a pet so these things exist thank you for being part of my journey and I look forward to hanging out with you in the next video